Jared Barnes joined the Ohio State team in June of 2015 after graduating in three years from the University of Louisville. He had a huge impact on the program and established himself as a team leader through his deeds both on and off the field. Barnes was an OSU scholar athlete last year while earning his master's degree in kinesiology and he's currently working on his PhD in sports management, if that's any good. Please welcome number 26, a safety for the Buckeyes, Jared Barnes. Good morning. All right, I am so happy to be here, and uh, it's just been an unbelievable experience. And I just want to tell you that God is so good because, as uh, our speaker mentioned, I was here last year, and as I was sitting in the same event, I was thinking to myself, wow, how cool would it be one day if I got to speak at this event? And what's crazy is I didn't tell anyone. And I just said it to myself, just th thought about it, and uh, God heard me. And about two weeks ago, our director of player development, Stan, Je Stan Jefferson, came up to me and said, Jared, I'd like you to be our speaker at the FCA breakfast. And I'm like, wow. It just, so I just want to tell you that God is so good. Amen? Amen. All right. Um, so, so I only have five minutes. And I, I don't want to talk about myself. So what I'd like to do is share with you just four things I've learned along my incredible journey and what college football, what FCA, and what most importantly God has taught me in my life so far. Um, so the first thing is number one, I want you to know who you are. And this is especially all to my young athletes out there in high school and middle school. It is very important to know who you are and more importantly what you stand for. You know, if somebody asks me what are my top core values, I would tell you, number one, my faith, integrity, and love. Do I abide in God's word every day? Do I do what I say I'm going to do? And then do I share God's love with others? Number two, you have to make a decision to be all in. I think it's harder now to be a Christian than ever before. It's so easy to be lukewarm and be half in and half out and sometimes do what God says and other times not. But it's very important, you need to make a decision to be all in, to not hold out on God, to not say, well, God, let me try this one thing my way and see how it goes. No, if you don't hold out on God, I guarantee you he will not hold out on you. Number three, I want you to become distinct. A, a, a word we use in our program at Ohio State is the word elite. Very few people achieve it. Coach Meyer says it's a top 10% of people in the world. But when you become distinct, that is a great opportunity for God to be glorified. And it was mentioned that I'm pursuing a PhD right now, and I'm working towards this, this incredible goal um, in the academic world. And it's actually very hard. But um, what, what I've learned is any time that somebody at, comes to me and says, wow, what a great accomplishment, it's, it's awesome for me to say, I, it, only through Christ have I been able to do this. And, and so when you become distinct, um, you, you continually have to rely on him during the process. And that's another way to just continually grow in your relationship with God. And the last thing is, I don't want you to get it confused when I say become distinct. I'm not talking about chasing money or chasing success. I, I mean, understanding that it's not about you. And that's the last thing, understanding that it's not about you. We are placed here on earth to love God and love others. And I know we're playing a game this weekend. It's very important, the college football playoff. What an incredible opportunity. But let us not forget why we are truly here. And that is because we are agents of the kingdom. And God has called us to love others and love him and glorify his name. And, and so I'll leave you with this. When it's, when it's not about you, your why or your reason for doing what you do becomes bigger than yourself becomes intrinsic rather than ex extrinsic. You're not chasing certain things. You now become, you want to invest in people. And, and I really believe your beliefs will be challenged during your life. And like I said, it's harder now to be a Christian than ever before with the way our culture glorifies money, fame, success. But, but when you stay grounded, when you stay rooted in, in your faith, rooted in your beliefs, those things don't affect you as much as they affect other people. And so to those of you who have made that decision, I say be bold and be ready because God will use you. And for those of you who have not, I say start where you are with what you have, for what you have is plenty. I love you. I thank you for your time. Go Bucks.